Hi, today I want to share with you an idea I have for a Memorial Day table setting. A table setting that's a little bit more intimate versus what a lot of us usually do in having big barbecues, you know, barbecuing your hamburgers, your hot dogs, everybody's contributing, bringing a dish and a large event, maybe at a park or something like that. Now, my idea is really when you want to have that more intimate, reminiscing uh, Memorial Day dinner. You know, when you're sitting around the table at home and just talking and sharing about that loved one of those loved ones who are no longer with us. So my idea for a Memorial Day table setting at home, let me walk you through it. I'm Nicole with the door on the table. Let's get started. So when I was coming up with ideas for my simple Memorial Day table setting, I knew I wanted something that was going to be pretty and a little elegant maybe, but didn't scream Memorial Day at you. It wasn't going to almost be throwing up with all that Memorial Day decor on it. I want it to be subtle, yet obviously Memorial Day. But that also means I need to use the colors of red, white, and blue. It needs to tie into the holiday. So I went and looked at my gazillion tablecloths and I found this really pretty blue and white floral print one. I love the blue and white colors that are in it. They're a little subtle, they're not loud. And with it being floral, it has a very pretty look to it. And this is gonna actually look really good with the rest of my table as you see when I'm building it out. But think about using a patterned tablecloth as the base of your Memorial Day table setting. You could obviously have a striped one or something else, but maybe avoid one that is specifically for Memorial Day. Think of something that you can use for multiple occasions. With my tablecloth in place, I'm now gonna start putting out the place settings. And I'm gonna start with these gorgeous red charger plates. I absolutely love this color red, and it's gonna really look fabulous on this blue and white tablecloth. Now, you can get very cheap and inexpensive charger plates at your dollar store. Mine always have them, but they don't always have the color I want. So a quick fun tip, if they don't have the color you're looking for, get some spray paint, spray paint them, and it works magnificently. So I'm just gonna put one of these red charger plates at each of my place settings. And in fact, I will put a link below to uh, similar charger plates. So on top of the chargers, I'm gonna use blue and white plates. And I happen to have two different designs of my blue and white plates because I didn't have a full set of six. So I'm mixing them up a little bit. And let me tell you, it looks so cute. And you can't really tell unless you look up close. They're definitely distinctive different patterns. But the way I'm gonna be setting this place setting, it's not quite as obvious. So let me put out my dinner plates first. I'll give you a close-up of them in just a minute. I am putting two of the same pattern at the head and the foot of the table, and then four of the other pattern on the sides of the table. So here is pattern one. And here, is pattern number two. And then on top of my dinner plates, I am going to add these nice solid blue salad plates. I actually got these from the dollar store. So just $1.25 each, really inexpensive, and they have a really pretty uh, dot de um, detail on them that adds some more visual interest to the place settings. Here's a close-up of that salad plate, and it just $1.25, isn't that really cute? Next, let's set out the flatware. So, don't forget, knives and spoons on the right and forks on the left.
So next I'm going to add my glasses and I chose to go with this gorgeous ruby red goblet and this beautiful dark blue one. I found both of these really cheap. The blue ones I found at Goodwill and the red ones at Facebook Marketplace and there's no way I could spend that little of money if I went into the stores. But keep an eye out for those kind of deals on Facebook Marketplace or Goodwill. I'm going to put the red one just above the knife and the blue one just above the red one. My idea is that the blue ones could be used for water and the red ones could be for wine or any other drink that I want to serve or my guests want to have. The very last piece of my place setting, I am adding blue napkins and these really cute DIY poppy napkin rings. And I'm going to share the link with you down below for the step-by-step -step instructions. And let me tell you, they are easy. But I just put them at the end of my napkin and I am going to put them on the diagonal, kind of pointing between the two glasses. I just love the way the napkin rings give that pop of red and then being a red poppy, how it ties in with Memorial Day. So for the centerpiece of a Memorial Day table setting, I am using this gorgeous blue and white ginger jar. My in-laws actually brought it back from Europe over 40 years ago. But I know you can find them today at Home Goods or other stores, and I'll put a link below for something very similar. I went ahead and filled mine with red and white flowers and two American flags. I just love how it has that patriotic feel to it. I also love how the floral pattern of the ginger jar picks up in that similar floral pattern of my tablecloth. And then of course how all of the red, white, and blue colors all work so well together. Now I am not going to keep this centerpiece on my table when it's time to eat because with how tall it is, it's going to get in the way of talking to each other and that's really annoying. So I'm going to, since it's nice and contained, I'm going to pick it up and either put it on the buffet table behind me or someplace else in the room that it can be enjoyed and appreciated. That also gives me space to put food dishes down on the table and my, my guess we can talk back and forth to each other much more easily that way. I absolutely love how this Memorial Day table setting turned out. Not only is it super pretty, but it's simple and gives that subtle nod to Memorial Day without being in your face and over the top. You're just using the red, white, and blue colors with a few little elements like the poppies and the American flag as all that I needed to be obvious that this is still for Memorial Day. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one and have a wonderful time with your friends and family. Bye.